Peter here at 2016 in a drone. I'm here with Wally from PowerVision. How are you doing, Wally? Yeah, nice to meet you. I'm very good. Nice to meet you too. So talk to me about this. I'm, I'm so happy to actually see this on the shelf. This is uh, quite, a, quite a product lineup you have here. Yeah, sure. So I would like to introduce a little bit more about uh, PowerAg. Mm -hmm. So uh, a lot of people ask me why I design a, egg like a, 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 design a drone like an egg shape. Mm -hmm. So to be frankly, when my first time to to use a drone that I think which is really like a, you know X shaped, that's not easy to carry on. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking we should design a fo foldable design mm -hmm. at that moment. But uh, I'm thinking because our background, which is uh, we started by commercial, you know, UAVs and drones before. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking not only a drone foldable that's enough. Mm -hmm. We must design a thing that's uh, art plus technology. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking about one people. That guy is uh, Da Vinci. You know, Da Vinci drawing the, the axe very good. And also he designed aircraft. Mm -hmm. So I think this guy is a perfect art plus technology. Mm -hmm. So that's why I, I think we should design a special nature shaped mm -hmm. drone. So for this drone, this, this is really not easy. It cost me 200 IND guys oh. for more than two years. Wow. So because uh, you need to be compact, mm -hmm. you need to be foldable, mm -hmm. you need to be reliable. Mm -hmm. So that's not easy. So the most important part, we're thinking about three things. The three pinpoints from the users. Like uh, first one, I think uh, I struggle in where I go traveling mm -hmm. with normal one because they have batteries inside. Mm -hmm. You're not allowed to go to luggage. Mm -hmm. You have to go to backpack. Yeah. So at that moment, I was struggling because uh, sometimes you have clothes you, you need to bring and mm -hmm. uh, some laptop, laptop you want to bring with your, lap, uh, with your backpack. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, can I make a drone put inside uh, the normal backpack? Mm -hmm. Then I can also, with my clothes, with my uh, laptop and other accessories, yeah. then I started by this one. This shape, not like a rectangular, uh -huh. that will be not easy to get pressure because yeah. they are nature shaped. Yeah. So it's an egg shape. So this whole thing, the arms actually fold down, the gear folds up, there is yeah. a cover that comes to the bottom yeah. and it turns the whole thing into an egg that's that's easy to carry. Sure. So and uh, this is not uh, the most important part. I think uh, we have three pain points from user. First, mm -hmm. portability. Second, easy of use. Mm -hmm. When my first time to using a, a drone, mm -hmm. You know, first time I, I operating a million dollars drone, mm -hmm. I have a lot of pressure. That's not consumer yeah. level, yeah. but the same use this kind of controller. Yeah, they have two Joyo stake, uh -huh. like this to start yeah. and uh, go forward, backward, yeah. leftward, yeah. Uh, right. But with this one, mm -hmm. you have to practice for a long time. Yes, especially you give how much pressure, then mm -hmm. how far the drone will go. Yeah, and the most difficult point, which is when you turn around. Mm -hmm. for, for to yourself, mm -hmm. because normally drone have a lag, yeah. right? So you have gimbal system only like this, yeah. not like this yeah. and this. No 360. Sure. Then you have to turn around the drone. The mm -hmm. most difficult part for you to practice is, which is remember mm -hmm. the direction. Yeah. Because when you turn around, the, the direction will be opposite. It changes your orientation. Yeah, that's yeah. really tough. Yeah. Especially when you go like this way, mm -hmm. all change. This mm -hmm. way, change yeah so what very very hard for you to remember yeah so how does the power egg address that yeah so I designed a special one this is a just to control the uh, Mastro mm -hmm. that means with one button takeoff one yeah. button landing and wow. uh, one button reaching home yeah for this one we are not for for this gimbal system mm -hmm. we're not for yeah. for the for the direction of the aircraft yeah. that's for the gimbal Oh wow, so this lets you control the aircraft and the gimbal in a yeah. simple controller. Yes, one, and this one, one push, mm -hmm. go 20 centimeter, yeah. one push, one push, okay. hold. Oh wow. Yeah, then so down, this is, yeah. like this. And how do you control it in a space? You just yeah. point where you want it to yeah. go? You, you, you press this button, mm -hmm. go, back, left, right. Oh wow, so you just move the controller, it has yeah. a gyros in it and it recognizes which way which way you're moving sure. the controller and it moves sure. the drone in the direction. You don't have to learn at all. That means yeah. 60 seconds. I think this one is the most important connector for your family. Yeah. Because normally when men go outside playing very happy with their family, yeah. but uh, he can control the drone, others yeah. can't. Yeah. Then they will be like your kids will be a little bit boring. Oh, my dad is playing, but uh -huh. he do not allow me to fly uh -huh. because uh, he thinks that's a little bit dangerous. Uh -huh. Then we designed this one 
yeah. thinking about safety policies, yeah. we designed a special circle. Mm -hmm. When you operating with a simple mode, mm -hmm. then that will not fly inside the safe zone. Okay, that gotcha. So it protects you from flying it into yourself accident. Yes. Oh, so okay. uh, that will be a connector. So yeah. we're thinking three main pain points we mm -hmm. re resolve. First is the easy to carry on. Mm -hmm. Second, uh, we we support easy support, uh, easy control. Mm -hmm. Third, we have more safety policies. Yeah. So that means uh, that will be more safer, yeah. more easy to use, yeah. more easy to carry on. So it's great for a new user, or it's great for you know for pretty much anybody. It's easy to learn. Now, one thing I, I do like about the design is the camera is at the bottom, but it also keeps the props and the arms out of the picture. So you can actually yeah. point the camera up yeah. quite an angle compared to the other drones, correct? Yes, yes. Wonderful. So uh, 360 par paramatic yeah. wheels. Yeah. That's great. What about a camera on this? Uh, is it yeah, a 4K? Th yes, that's a 4K, and we support a 3-axis three, three gimbal. Okay. And especially this one and this one, we all use the industry level mm -hmm. data communication systems. Uh -huh. So to be frankly, we're using the same mm -hmm. on our big air, airplane mm -hmm. that can fly like a uh, hundred kilometers away. Yeah. Just because the electronic consumers mm -hmm. that have FCC regulation for mm -hmm. the power, yeah. then we support it to maximum like 3.1 miles. 3.1 miles? Yes. So that's, that's more than enough for a consumer drone. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. So how does the video downlink work? I see there is something sitting on the yeah. top of your yeah. controller. Where yeah. do I see the video? They have the real time on your phone mm -hmm. when you when you click here. Okay. And of course, uh, we have a SD card. Okay. So then you can share to your computer with the 4K resolution. Excellent. Because this is a uh, real time that's uh, 720. Mm -hmm. But uh, when you download it, yeah. that's a 4K. Okay, so you have a 720 downlink. Does it work with both iOS, iPhone, and Android devices? Yes, we support all these uh, devices. Mm -hmm. So there's an app that people just download. You yeah. can sit this on the top of your controller and get going. Sure. Yes. Wonderful. What about the batteries for this? Is this it? Yeah, this is the battery that, uh, because we have to compromise a lot. Mm -hmm. We need to let this one uh, follow the standards when you bring on the aircraft. Mm -hmm. They have limitations for the mm -hmm. battery capacity, and also uh, we want that fly longer. So this one, with such a huge improvement and a complex system, mm -hmm. we support 23 minutes flying. 23 minute flights, and this is a 6400 milliamp hour four cell battery. Yes. Excellent. Where do you put a battery in this? <laughs> oh, here. You can open that like uh, this one. Oh, you just flip the top. Yeah, then you can put it inside. Oh wow, this is so easy. Yeah. Slides in. Yeah. And you just yeah. turn it on by pushing the button on a battery or on the yeah, top of yeah. the unit? On top of it. On the top of the unit. Yeah. yeah, that's very easy. That is wonderful. It's a 23 minutes on a single battery charge. Yes. yes. Oh wow, that's that's pretty amazing. Great. So now I, I think on the future, this one will be another tool put mm -hmm. on your backpack for traveling. Mm -hmm. Today we bring cameras, SLRs, mm -hmm. but you know the camera system growing very fast by mm -hmm. phone. Mm -hmm. They instead of the card uh, shaped uh, camera mm -hmm. and they are on the way to instead of the DSLR. Yeah. I believe th for the future they cannot fly for your camera, yeah. for your for your phone. Mm -hmm. This is the next uh, camera when you go outside traveling. Absolutely. So a new tool. Yeah. yeah. It's it's a great tool. It's a great looking drone actually. Now is this available? Can people yes. buy it in this market? So uh, we've already started uh, pre uh, order online uh, mm -hmm. two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So everybody if you like it you can uh, booking online mm -hmm. at uh, 3 www.powervision.me. Uh, M-E, me. Yeah. Powervision.me? M-E, me. Okay. okay, cool. Wonderful. What is the price point? Uh, right now, we're selling, including two control system, mm -hmm. battery and a pack, mm -hmm. uh, on $1,299. Twelve ninety nine for this, yeah. both of the controllers. So that's your regular stick controller. That's your magic one controller, yeah. the easy remote, yeah. and one battery with yes. charger and a backpack, correct? Yes. Wally, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. I wish you guys a good luck. I'm pretty sure that these things are yeah. going to be flying off the shelves like crazy. Okay. And I, I can't wait to see this one out and about. Thank you thank so you. much. I really appreciate it. Thank you very it. much. I appreciate it.
So I just wanted to give a little bit of an overview in regards to our application software that we use to fly PowerEgg. The splash screen where you hit start flying and that would access the actual interface itself. Our interface is extremely robust. It gives uh, examples of where you are. It gives you an overlay of the map. It gives you uh, your live camera view over in the left-hand corner, how many satellites you're connected to, battery life of the drone itself, battery life of your controller, as well as uh, options to control um, return to home, deploy the landing gear, how long you've been in the air. One of the things that makes a drone um, extremely popular and easy to use nowadays is autonomous shots, and we have those as well. For us, we use a couple of different uh, autonomous flight modes. One of them is going to be waypoint flying, which allows you to place points along the map and fly a very specific mission, so to capture the content that you're looking for. Within our software as well, we give the options of controlling just about everything, from camera control to gimbal control, to really uh, fine-tuning anything and anything about the drone to give you the best experience to capture that content that you're looking to share. Our other autonomous flight modes are very industry standard uh, circle mode, which will allow you to orbit around any one object, take a selfie mode where the camera will orient towards yourself, and of course, follow me, which is one of the more popular ones, where if you're doing an action sport or anything where you want the drone to follow you down a specific path. Um, uh, along the, uh, built into the software as well is the ability to control home setting, whether you want the drone to return to you, the uh, controller itself, or a specific point on the map. Um, it also shows you uh, live views of how high it is, how far away from you it is, how long you've been in the air. And of course, you can click on the, the picture down in the corner and swap the view, and this gives you full camera control. So stop, start, record, switch from video camera to still, control all the camera settings, whether or not it be ISO, frame rate, 4K, 1080p, 30 frames a second, 60 frames a second. It's all built into the software, and it should be extremely easy to use.